Well, I have a few minutes. Tell me a little bit about your braces. Great. I have a couple of hand-based thumb spica splints okay. that I want to go through with you. So they're both really versatile splints, can be used for a number of indications, diagnoses. Um, they're also both fit right or left, and we do have an extra small and extra large in this, but otherwise we consider them a regular universal sizing, so very low inventory if you were to choose to use something like this in your practice. So I'll start with, this is what we call our Modab or Thumb Splint. You can see it's made out of a perforated neoprene. You can kind of see through there. Actually, both of these products are, so they're nice and cool. I'm going to slip your thumb in there. You'll notice that's long on your thumb, but not to worry because this is a trimmable, cons the construction of this allows for the IP to be trimmed, which is a nice feature. This is what we call our patient assist strap, which is makes application so much simpler for the patient because now you're not worrying about this whole splint translating around your wrist as you um, apply the wrap. So it's in place right here, your stay pod. You'll notice there's two stays in there, a spring stay and a straight stay, so that you can pull and keep what you want, customize that to whatever need the patient has for the particular diagnosis that you might be treating. Does that feel comfortable? Very comfortable. Yeah, especially if we trim that down, I think it'd be nice. The next one is what we call the Santa Barbara thumb. So a little different design, you'll notice three stay pods instead of the just one single stay pod. Slip your thumb in there. I'm gonna tighten around your IP. You can trim that strap. And then the same goes this one. You're just gonna catch the Velcro there, wrap it around, and again, you could um, trim your, your strap there. So very simple design. You can have it as restrictive or unrestrictive as you were to choose as you played with those stay pods. Um, what do you think of that one? I like this, yeah, very nice. So between the two, do you think there's something that you could mm -hmm. in find some cases, use for? Yeah, in some cases I need all three stays, and in other cases I may just need the, the single ones. So let's go get with uh, Susie, our occupational therapist, and see where we can implement these with some of my patients in the future. Great, sounds good.